Here's how to take apart a servo. If your servo is the same as mine and has small Phillips screws on the bottom, it probably takes a 564 Phillips screwdriver, which looks like this. Let's get started. There's the control board that relays the signals to the motor, and then there's the actual motor for the servo. We should be able to prop up the control board using a small flathead screwdriver. Now with the board propped up, we can look inside and see the actual position sensors of the servo. Here's the top gear on this servo. As you can see, I was pretty hard on it. <laughs> and then here's the main drive gear. Which you can see is fairly unusable at this point. Which is why I'm taking apart this servo. So now let's try to shimmy the actual motor out. I'm going to pull the motor wires off the main board in order to use the motor for another project. The motor is smaller than my finger now. Today we looked inside of a small servo. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video.